Hey guys, here's some post commentary for about the next six minutes. If you guys watch my uh, s uh, part 26, I believe I mentioned that uh, my webcam screws up my audio sometimes. So um, that happened to about six minutes of this video. I'm completely uh, privileged that it did not happen to the whole thing. But uh, basically, uh, I believe you saw you saw me beat Grimsley, and uh, now I'm facing Marshall here. Marshall is not easy, but he's definitely not the hardest Elite Four. Uh, I discounted this guy's sock, though. I didn't see it had Earthquake, stupidly enough. Seems like most of the Elite Four's Pokemon have Earthquake because it's such a powerful move. But either way, this sock should pretty much go down to something Grotorch does. Flamethrower. I love Meatball, but he can't seem to survive very long. Mostly because he's a sweeper and not a defender. Mianchao's here, and of course, naturally, I predict a high jump kick, but he goes for a stone edge, and he's faster than me, so I expect that to take Brotorch out, which, is, which it does. Quite disappointing, I must say, because Brotorch was awesome, and I expected him to sweep, if anything. So what I do instead is send out Flutterpater to wall this thing out and intimidate it, because this should work. So I'm going to go for Fly, he's going to go for stone edge, but with Intimidate, that should not take him out. I figure, anyhow. And he goes for another high jump kick, fails... Flutterpater hits the fly. Shabam in the face. Mian Chao is done. Conkle Durr is the biggest threat in Marshall's party, obviously because it's bulky and it has a high attack. High physical attack, that is. So I send out Tesla Mouse to see what a good old Volt Tackle would do to this thing. Couldn't hurt, right? And it does the lowest amount of damage I've ever seen Volt Tackle do to anything. And, of course, he takes Tesla Mouse out with a Grain Punch and recovers half that damage. So, this is not looking good for me here, because this Conkledur is a beast. So, I sent up Pain Chomp here to see if a little Outraging can't help me. So, I go for Outrage. Da -da 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 -da. And it does a little bit more than Volt Tackle, surprisingly. Obviously, because I bet Conkledur has less special defense. Of course, Rough Scan counters um, Leftovers a little bit, luckily. But this Outrage does a little bit more damage. One should do the trick, but he uses another Drain Punch and takes out Pain Chomp, which is not fun. So, yeah. Uh, this Conkledur is a beast, I must say. So now I send out Flutter Pater to see what we can do about this thing. Uh, Intimidate can't hurt for sure. Can I go for a Surf? Ta-da! And that will take him out. So Conkledur is done. And that's the biggest threat of his party out of the way. And here's a Metacham. I don't know what I was thinking keeping Flutterpater out at this point. Honestly, I can't remember. Uh, obviously, I'm going for a full restore on him. So I'm going to try to go for the... Uh, I'm assuming I'm going to try to finish off the rest of his party with Flutterpater, which is fine with me. But of course, all the Quiver Dances in the world won't protect against the Zen Headbutt because it's a physical attack. So I go for Fly. Hoping he goes for high jump kick, but he goes for the thunder punch and misses. So I hit him on the head with fly. Shabam. Uh, brings him down to about halfway, and then Zen Headbud will take Flutterpater out, unfortunately. But all I got left is Bastard Dawn. So what I decide to do here instead is just leave Bastard Dawn out to take whatever hit he has to take. And revive Brotorch. But luckily, Metachan misses high jump kick and kills itself, so I get a free revive. Fantastic. Level 72. Hand Lucario's coming out, and I really should have sent out Brotorch at this point, I think. But instead, I take the turn to revive him because I'm gonna take the risk, or uh, restore him because I'm going to take the risk that Brotorch is faster than Lucario, which it should be. I mean, I don't see any reason why it wouldn't be. And of course, Lucario goes for high jump kick, hits, and Bastard Dawn doesn't stand a chance. Not a big deal here because Brotorch is still. Epic and able to take pretty much anything Lucario will throw at him. Even, well, maybe not Stone Edge. But either way, Flamethrower gets him first and should take him out. And that's Marshall. We didn't black out on Marshall, guys. By the way, in case you didn't notice, I have six blackouts right now, meaning I'm tied with Tyson. So if I get one more blackout, Tyson wins. So I'm really hoping at this point that I don't. Uh, I have the opportunity to learn Heat Wave here, but I decide not to because of accuracy. Um, even though it's only 10% off, you know, I, I don't really feel like I could really need to replace Flamethrower or anything, so I just, um, keep old moves. Not a big deal. And that's Marshall.
There's no strong blah blah blah. Our soul best combination. That's why it's difficult to blah 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 blah. That doesn't keep going here. Yes, yes, yes. Shut up, shut up, shut up, Marshall. Let's move. We're gonna go fight the champion. Yes. No, you'll become the strongest traitor in this turn of uh, lead to taking the champion's room. Alright, so we shall. To the champion's room! Away! And of course, those of you that haven't seen White 2 before or know about the ending will be quite a shock here if, uh, if uh, you, when you find out who the champion is. Because it's not really somebody you'd expect. Really. So I'm doing my last uh, revives here before the champion. And when, yeah, it was something I, someone I didn't expect either. I mean, on the day it came out, I heard people talking about it, but I was surprised. And actually, I don't, I don't argue with them making this person the champion either. I think it's cool and it's unexpected, um, especially for. Well, I'm not gonna give it away. You'll just have to see. I think I mentioned it in the video that someone so. Well, I might give it away here for some people, but someone so young should be the champion. It's pretty cool, I think, anyhow. I mean, granted, the uh, game trainers are going to be are like 10, 14 years old, but still, this person is uh, still pretty darn young. Although I'm glad, yeah, I, a lot of people didn't like them as a champion either, but I think they make a good one. Definitely make an unexpected one. So, uh, looks like we got about 10 seconds here before my normal commentary comes back. So, uh, here it is, right here. Looks like the same old temple as last game. Let's see who the champion is. Hello, Iris. <laughs> Welcome, challenger. Look at you, all grown up. I've been waiting for this. Were you expecting me to be the champion? Some didn't. Some said there was a 0% chance of it happening, but here I am. So that means she beat the previous trainer. That's funny. I mean, she like got her revenge or something. All right, here we go, folks. The final battle. Let's do this! Know what? I really look forward to having serious battles with strong trainers. I mean, come on, the trainers who make it here, trainers who desire victory with every fiber of their being. And they are battling alongside Pokemon that have been through countless difficult battles. If I battle with people like that, not only will I get stronger, my Pokemon will too. And we'll get to know each other even better. Okay, brace yourself. I'm Iris, the Pokemon League champion, and I'm going to defeat you. Bull crap! Here we go. Time to do this. Iris time. Yes. God, she's all grown up. Look at her. Ooh, pretty background. What is she doing? She looks constipated. Hi, Dragonite. How are you? I hope Flutterpater is faster than you, so I can ice beam the crap out of you. This intimidate should help me anyhow. Ice beam. Oh crap! It is faster than me, but. It didn't use an attack first, so I might still have a chance. Ice Beam. Oh, yeah, you would, wouldn't you? And that barely did anything. Good God. He keeps Dragon Dancing. That's pretty bad here. And I'm surprised Ice Beam isn't doing more. I am greatly surprised. Ah, there we go. Phew. Alrighty then. Only have a couple Ice Beams left, so hopefully I don't waste them here. Archaeops, um, this is a job for Bastard Dawn, I think. Hopefully this thing doesn't have Earthquake, but it probably does, knowing this game. Alright, Mr. Archaeops, have a strength. I knew it, he would have Earthquake. And he's quite powerful, too, so I don't think Bastard Dawn's gonna survive that. Oh, well. Let's see, who else here can I do this with? Um... Yeah, Tesla Mouse. Uh, I think this thing is rock, right? So I should be able to kill it with full tackle, right? Yes! Get it, get it, get it, get it! Die! In the face. There we go. Good job, Tesla Mouse. Gotta love that full tackle. Level 68. Haxorus. God dang, that's gonna suck. This is what I need Bastard Dawn for, actually, this Haxorus. Hopefully I'm faster than it, but chances are if I wasn't faster than the Dragonite, I'm probably not faster than the Haxorus, unfortunately. Intimidate, which should help me out at least a little bit. Ice Beam! Oh, he's using Dragon Dance to bring back his attack. Shoot. Hopefully he doesn't have a Walking Berry like uh, Dragonite there. Good, he doesn't. Alright. Uh, didn't kill it. Okay, use another Dragon Dance. Oh, crap. Okay, come on, your high special defense has got to hold out here, right? Right? 
It was a crane. Naturally. Alright, um... I need to revive Bastardon, so get out of here, Tesla Mouse. Sorry, I need to I need you as fodder for this, unfortunately, so because I need to bring back Bastard Dawn here. Ugh, freaking Haxorus. Ugh. And I bet it has something that cures its confusion too, right? It has to. I really love the music in this battle. It's very celestial. Alright, Photostore. I know Bastard Dawn can at least block those outrages, so let's see what happens. Not very effective, Mother Freaker. Still did a sizable amount of damage, though. Wow, I'm surprised it didn't have a Confusion Healing Berry. I'm very surprised. I wonder what it's even holding. Ooh, hit himself. Nice. Good, 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 good. Finish him off with a Strength, Bastard Dawn. Oh, it didn't die. I'm shocked. Wow, this thing is kind of bulky. Oh! Of course you would have a full restore. I should use Toxic on this thing. I think, anyhow. Hopefully it doesn't have Earthquake. That would be bad. Alright, Toxic. Oh, it does! Boo! Why does everything have to have Earthquake in this game? That's ridiculous. I swear, every single freaking thing has to have Earthquake. Go, Bro Torch. Use Outrage or something. Use it. Aqua Tail! Why do you have Aqua Tail? Boo! You are crap, sir. Go screw yourself, kindly. Pain Chomp. Get out here. And don't die from whatever the heck it's gonna hit you with. Outrage. Crap, 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 crap. Don't die, 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 I have to use my Max Revive here, I just have to. Alright, um... Max Revive, where are you? My last Max Revive. Had to use three on that freaking ground guy, unbelievable. Ugh. God dang it, this sucks. Good, at least it's confused. Hopefully she doesn't have another full restore to use on it, that would be bad. Okay, now I'm gonna revive somebody else while this thing's confused. Please, uh, come back. Who do I want to come back here? Flutterpater. Hit yourself. Thank you. Got a free turn there, that's awesome. Alright, um, and full restore on Flutterpater. Please. Dang, I've used so many full restores. Can he hit himself again? Hit yourself again. Yes! Yes, I'm getting so lucky here. All right. Uh, have an earthquake. Hit yourself again. Yes, three turns in a row. Thank you, game. I greatly appreciate it. Oh, it's still not dead, though. Strength. Crap. Crap, 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 crap. All righty, then. Hopefully it uses Outrage and doesn't kill Flutterpater. That would be very nice, wouldn't it? That Intimidate should help me out a little bit, hopefully. One more Surf for the victory. Don't die. No, 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 no. Good. Okay, Flutterpater survived. Good. Okay, that Haxorus is a freaking beast. Oh, God. Hi, Dragon. This is not good. Um, I completely forgot she had this, too. Pro Torch, come back. I don't know what we're going to do here. Oh, Dark Pulse. Eh. It's not going to survive that. I didn't think so. I used my one max survive, so I don't think I'm going to be able to win this here, honestly. My only hope is that it misses, or it locks itself into an outrage or something. This thing is fast, too. Draco Meteor. Well, at least it lowers its special attack, right? Survive. Good. No! You would have a white herb, wouldn't you? God, that freaking Haxorus. If that hadn't been there, I might actually stand a chance against this thing. That's just great. And I bet it has Earthquake, so Vastor Dawn wouldn't be any good against it, right? I'm predicting another Draco Meteor, so let's bring back Vastor Dawn again. Ugh, God, so much of this crap. God. 
Dang, Draco Meteor. At least its special attack is down again. But I bet it has Earthquake. I'm not gonna I, I seriously think it has Earthquake, so... Let's um, revive Brotorch once again, just for the outrages. Oh, and of course it has Focus Blast. I mean, even though its special attack is down, it's still gonna kill Brotorch, won't it? I mean, Bastard Dawn, rather. Whatever. Brotorch, get out here. Its special attack is lower. You might stand a chance. Um, I don't know if I should lock myself into an Outrage here or not. I really don't. I don't know how good it's gonna do me. Of course, you're gonna use Draco Meteor again, but it's not gonna do as much because your special attack is down, correct? That's what I thought. Alright. Um, Outrage. Die, please, for the love of God. If you don't die and I black out here, I lose. So I can't do that. I lose the challenge. I can't do that. I have a feeling it was really bad locking myself into this outrage, so I'm not even kidding. Because whatever comes out after High Dragon is going to own me. I know it is. Oh god, it has a she has a for alligator. Why? Why do you have a for alligator? All right, I'm reviving, please. Ow, Crunch. Why do you have a Feraligator, lady? You're killing me here. You're kidding me here, right? I should have saved my Max Revive for this point. She has two Pokemon left. Two freaking Pokemon. What am I supposed to do here? Um, what can actually survive an attack from this thing? Okay, um, I'm actually going to save here. Only because uh, if I black out, I don't want to start the battle over. I don't know who's faster, but I'm going to risk a Volt Tackle. Phew. Okay, hopefully Tesla Mouse doesn't die from this, but chances are it will. I hope it doesn't, though. Oh, it survived! No! I knew that was gonna happen. I knew it. I boxed myself into a corner. Okay. Okay, so that's it. I lost. Tyson wins. Congratulations to Tyson. Um, congratulations to Tyson. However, um, I will continue to try to beat this. I don't mind coming in second. I really don't. God, that thing is freaking beastly. All right, fine. You know what? Revive. I should have done this revive in the first place. Let's see here. I will gladly take second place here. Um, I don't even know who to revive at this point. There's like nobody. Ah, this sucks. What am I gonna do here? That freaking Haxorus just ruined my entire team. The least I could do is intimidate this thing, I suppose, but... Uh. Masquerade is probably my most useful Pokemon. I'm just going for the win. I'm just going to beat her this time, guys. I mean, I lost the challenge, but I'm just going to beat her this time. There is nothing else I could possibly do here, so... You know... Whatever. Let's start reviving while he's, while he's using Dragon Dance, I guess. Of course, that might not be the best idea, because he's going to be faster than everybody now. Crunch. Sheesh. Ouch. Well, at least he didn't die. Uh, fly! Crap, it's dragon dancing! It's not a good thing. Wow, that did nothing. That did absolutely nothing. That's awesome. My only hope now is that this guy misses. There's no nothing else I could do here. Absolutely nothing else. I am in a corner here. There's nothing else I could do. Oh god, that's gonna kill me, isn't it? No! Ah! There's no way I can get out of this corner. This is terrible. I used all my max revives. What am I gonna do here? What am I gonna do? There's nothing I can do. Ah, there's nothing I can do! This sucks. I don't want to start the Elite Four over. I'm not going to start the Elite Four over. Ah, the best thing I can hope for right now is that I can get some Quiver Dances off, I guess. There's no way I can beat this for Alligator, though. There's just zero. Not with this team that just got wrecked by Haxorus. And Hydragon, for that matter. Luckily, that Intimidate should help, but, uh, Quiver Dance. I'm just gonna try for the sweep. Whatever works. 
Though you're gonna use Dragon Dance naturally. He's gonna use Crunch and kill me here. I don't even know why I'm trying this Quiver Dance. I see what's coming. Uh, I'm using it to protect my own well-being, I suppose. Freaking Dragon Dance. It'll be the bane of us all. He's not even a special attacker. He's gonna go ahead and use that physical attack, right? That's what I thought. Freaking Butt Munch. Alright. Uh, I don't even know what to do. There's nothing I can do here. Absolutely nothing I can do. This battle is impossible right now. Absolutely impossible. I can't... I have no max revives. I can't revive anybody that can take a hit from this thing. I, d I can't do anything. I just can't do anything. This is the most hopeless I've ever been in any battle ever. Seriously is. This is hopeless. The best I can do is hope that Bastard Don can survive like one waterfall. And even that'll just bring me back to where I was originally. Uh, you're not going to be able to take three hits. I know you aren't. I don't even know why I'm trying here. Honestly. The best I can do, I can struggle this thing to death then, probably. Why don't I struggle this thing to death? She's still even got a Pokemon after this. How am I supposed to beat that? There's no freaking way. The best I can do is hope this thing misses. Uh, why does this suck so much? Meatball, can you be faster than this thing, possibly? Well, it's worth a shot, but I highly doubt that Meatball is going to be able to kill him in one hit. Alright, Meatball. Super power. Do your best, I suppose, but I highly doubt you're going to be able to kill this thing in one hit. If Folk Tackle couldn't do it... Ah, uh, that didn't even do hardly anything! Why is this thing so beastly? No, get out of there. Why is this thing so beastly? Why? Why are you so beastly for alligator? Why? I wish there was a way I could suicide somebody so I can get this thing to actually go away. It's just a big freaking barrier in my way, and I hate it. And I wish it would leave me alone. Ugh, there's absolutely... This music is pissing me off now because there's nothing I can do to this guy. There's just... Literally, there's nothing. Absolutely nothing. It's a water type. It's a bulky water type that I can't do any damage to hardly. That's not gonna work. Ugh, freak. What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? I, I don't get it. There's nothing I can do, is there? I hate this music now. This music's pissing me off. And he has Ice Punch, so I don't even know why Garchomp would be able to do anything to this guy. If I had a second Pokemon out so that I could sacrifice What's-His-Face, then I could probably do it, but I don't. So I'm just going to lose. Because I have nothing that can kill this guy in one hit. Nothing. I have nothing. Survive! Freak! What am I supposed to do? This commentary is terrible, too, because this is just turned into what am I supposed to do, what am I supposed to do? There's nothing I can do. I don't even know why I'm still trying this. Ugh. The only thing I can do is hope to revive somebody while he's dragon dancing. That's it. But the dragon dance will sweep, so I don't even think I can, honestly. Ugh. Screw this. Revive. Yes, yes, use your Dragon Dance. Be that way. I don't give a crap. Oh, don't run. Um, I'm going to try a different strategy then. If he doesn't use an attack within the next two turns, I'll be able to kill him. Hopefully. But he's going to use an attack. Naturally! Naturally, you're going to use an attack, right? Ugh. There is nothing I can do to this thing. Except for intimidate the crap out of it over and over again. Actually, that's not a bad idea. Just intimidate it so its attack is nothing. Don't kill Masquerade. Good. Alright. Um, and I'm gonna use a Hyper Potion now. Or a Full Restore, rather. I think I've got a strategy going now. Okay. Okay, I've got something going here. I should be able to do this. If it's just gonna keep using Crunch, that is. And then let's use a Full Restore on Tesla Mouse. If you can hold out, I can revive my entire team here, so... Yes, yes, raise your attack again, I don't care. Tesla Mouse is now full health, 
So maybe I'll be able to suicide and kill this thing. Let's see what happens. But it is dragon dancing again, so I don't know if it'll work, but it's worth a shot. Bolt tackle. Don't kill me. You have two attack boosts, but I intimidated you twice. Come on! Ugh. I am seriously pissed off at you right now. This is crap. This is just bull crap. He's figured out my strategy now, and this is just a big roundabout thing until I can actually kill this mother freaker. I've never been so trapped in a corner by a stupid alligator before. Go, Tesla Mouse. I need to intimidate this guy so he's low, low freaking uh, attack again. I wish you would survive an attack. I seriously do. But of course you can't. So where's my hyper potions? He's gonna raise his attack again, and that'll give him, uh, that'll give me another free turn to revive things, I guess. And I might just revive Bastard Dawn. Oh, okay. You can use Crunch then. That's fine with me too. Um, it's gonna keep using Crunch, I think. So let's revive Bastard Dawn just to take a hit. He's gonna use Dragon Dance again, of course. Uh, Bastard Dawn, get out here. You can at least survive a crunch, right? That's what I thought. Thank you for surviving. Now you're gonna use Waterfall, so I'm gonna switch back out to, um, back out to, um, Flutter Pater. And lower your attack even further once again. So get the freak out of here. Thank you. This is a strat- this is similar to the strategy I used on another gym leader. I think it was Berg actually, so let's use another full restore. Hey, if the strategy works, why not use it, right? And he's gonna Dragon Dance up again. Which gives me another turn to switch back to Bastard Dawn. I'm just gonna keep going back and forth with this until he basically just struggles to death, pretty much. Alright, Bastard Dawn, you can survive at least one attack this guy does, right? So let's use a revive on Tesla Mouse. Of course, you're not going to survive that waterfall. I don't expect you to. Let's bring out Flutter Pater to intimidate and take whatever attack that he's doing here. Yeah, sorry. I mean, you can fast forward through this if you want, but this is all my strategy here. It's a little slow. But if it gets the job done, it gets the job done, you know? Crunch. Please. Give me a break. Let me guess. Dragon Dance? Let's go for Tesla Mouse this time. I'm predicting a Dragon Dance, so I hope that whatever he has in store, the Tesla Mouse can survive it. Crunch. Again? Well, he survived with 2 HP. That's a start, anyhow. And let's switch back to Masquerade real quick. Lower the attack further. Hit some hyper potioning on this mother freaker. Uh, I think it's out of dragon dances, actually. Which is a good thing, granted. I'm not too unhappy about that. Definitely, because those dragon dances are a pain in the butt. I still don't know what this lady has for last, though. And that kind of bothers me, because, you know, it's like, what is she hiding in that party of hers? What dragon hasn't she used yet? I mean, I don't think she's used Salamence, so maybe it's a Salamence. I mean, that would make sense, I guess. In that case, I could revive Bastard Dawn just, just fine, you know? And I could probably beat that Salamence. As long as it doesn't have Earthquake like everything else in this freaking game. Ouch. Alright, Tesla Mouse, get out here. We're gonna intimidate him further until his attack is near nothing. Survive that crunch, please. Thank you. And that proves to me that this strategy is actually working. And plus that, and he's getting tired. You know, probably running out of moves as well. Not very effective. I blame my winning strategy on my surplus of items. Yeah, even though I'm running out of full restores. Uh, which doesn't help me out in any, of course. I wish I had a thing to lower this guy's speed, too, honestly. 
Um, okay. Tesla Mouse, come back. Yeah, yeah, shut up. Okay, now let's actually try to get some damage on this thing. I think I'm actually ready. Now that its attack is low enough, I actually stand a chance here. Let's start quiver dancing up. That way we can at least be ready for whatever else she has in her party. Perfect. Now that it's, yeah, 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 yeah. This strategy should work. We've got ourselves out of a hole, guys. We have got ourselves out of a freaking hole. I am so happy. So as long as he doesn't get a crit, we're golden. So let's keep using Quiver Dance, and then we will finish this Mother Freaker off. Even though whatever attacks I have probably won't do much to him, I at least have... I'm at least Quiver Danced up here, so that should help me out greatly. Uh, Alright, now. Surf's not gonna do much, but with three Quiver Dances, it shouldn't do little. Here we go. Wow, that did way more than I expected it to, I will not lie. And now that Flutterpater is super speedy, whatever she has left in her party should not be a problem. Maybe it's Flygon. It's gotta be Flygon. Yes, finally he's dead. Next. Superior? Oh, yes! This is that evil contrary Superior. Have an Ice Beam. Sir! And that is the battle. That's gotta be it. Get out of here, you freaking times for weak to ice. This game is over. Yes! I did my best, but we lost you. Sure did! Uh, I may have lost against Tyson, too, but we did. I'm glad I finished this game. This was a really, really hard hack. I'm upset I couldn't win. You know what? Worse more than that, I'm happy. I mean, come on. By having a serious battle, you and your Pokemon, and me and my Pokemon, we all got to know one another better than before. Yep, we sure did. Okay, let's go. Yes! That's it. That is it, man. We freaking did it. That is Bolt White 2. Um, as much as I hate to tell you guys this, I probably am not going to do an after game. Mostly because I'm finishing this LP so soon because I want to focus on my voice acted LPs. Okay, go on ahead, hurry. Uh, and I have the 9 hours, 9 persons, 9 doors coming pretty soon. That's going to take a lot of work, so I can't be doing too much at the same time. Hope you understand. But let's just enjoy this victory, guys. This is awesome. We did it. So this room is the Hall of Fame. Your name and your Pokemon's name will be recorded here and those, those important things will never be forgotten. You are, an, you are an excellent and kind trainer. That you are considerate towards your Pokemon and you give them your whole heart. And that your wonderful Pokemon believe in their trainer with all their hearts and together you have a strength that knows no bounds. Dang right. Haha. -ha. Let's do this. Yes. Hey, come on. Oh, excuse me. Blarg. To the trainer standing before me and the Pokemon at your side, your beautiful bond has grown strong through battle. In order to make this bond an eternal treasure, your name shall be recorded here. Woo! This is probably the most satisfied I've ever felt beating the Elite Four and the Champion in any game. I'm not even gonna lie, because they were so hard. This hack was so hard. <sighs> Flutterpainter, you are amazing. I would have never done this without you. Oh my god. Master Don, too. Oh my god. He was so... Oh, such an underrated Pokemon. Tesla Mouse, you're good. You were a sweeper. You were an electric sweeper. That's awesome. Pain Chop, not as great as I expected, but still very good. Uh, Bro Torch. Charizard, you can't discount Charizard. They're always awesome. You're, you're my fire sweeper meatball. You're awesome, too. I love it. Yes, League Champion, congratulations. My MVPs in this game, Masquerain and Bastardon. And Bastiodon. Ah, uh, I could have never finished the Elite Four without them. Bastiodon for his Walliness and Masquerain for his Walliness and his awesomeness. What, did I unlock Easy Mode? That's nice. I actually unlocked all this stuff already because Dryano had it unlocked from the beginning, but yeah. Paying the Easy Key. Easy Mode can now be selected. Keys can be sent and received by Infrared. That's nice. I don't care because I'm probably not going to play any more of this. I'm white queued out, guys, but this game is freaking awesome. I would even, as far as to say my favorite, in my favorite game, my favorite generation is this part of Generation 5. This game was just amazing. And I can't wait to see how X and Y is going to top it. I'm pumped, man. I really am pumped. Well, let's watch the credits. Let us watch the credits. It's our victory monument, man. Woo! That was amazing. I thought it was a... I, I know a lot of people disagree, but I think it was good to make Iris the champion. I don't really know how she beat the previous trainer, but it's still nice to see a surprise like that. 
Man, the Elite Four was hard in this game, too. I, if I hadn't had Flutterpater, I would have had a harder, much harder time with this. So I'm so glad I did. Whew, that was amazing. Pokemon White 2 version. So we say farewell to Generation 5 and say hello to Generation X and Y. I'm gonna miss Generation 5, I must say. This was a groundbreaking generation, both graphically, story-wise. It was extremely memorable. I don't know how many times I played through Blaze Black, Volt White, and the normal games obsessively, you know? It's interesting how that works. They had Generation 1, which was the groundbreaking generation because it was the first one, and it was good. They had Generation 2, which was even better than 1, and it improved upon the previous formula. Generation 3, in my opinion, took a humongous dive. They screwed it all up. It was terrible. Not memorable. The Pokemon weren't memorable. The mapping wasn't memorable. Generation 4 was like 3. They went up a tad bit, but it still wasn't nearly as good as Generation 1 and 2. They, up, they started upping the graphics, which was good. Um, and the added Pokemon, additional Pokemon, were nice too. Generation 5... Although a lot of people don't like the additions of new Pokemon, I thought Generation 5 was one of the best. Honestly, especially this game. This game kicks the crap out of every other game, in my opinion, in the Pokemon series. This is amazing. It just shows you what great graphics and great story can do and not forgettable enemies. I mean, you can't forget Team Plasma, and the fact that they divided Team Plasma into two groups of good and bad in this game was genius. I thought it was genius to have the two Team Plasmas warring. I, I just can't get enough of this game, man. I mean, I'll have to have enough of it because I'm not really going to be playing... Oh, yeah, which reminds me, the duo-type run? Uh, maybe I'll continue it someday, but I'm y 2 out, guys. I hope you understand. I did 10 episodes of the Japanese. I did, what, 11 episodes of the duo-type run, and I just finished this. I've done three y 2 playthroughs, and I'm sure you guys are tired of it, too. I can tell because the later episodes of this series haven't gotten many views. Um... But, yeah, what can I say? My next LP, Nine Persons, Nine Hours, Nine Doors, it's another voice acted LP. This is a puzzle game, visual novel, sort of like Apollo, but a lot more serious. And has a really big twist at the end as well. You guys are going to love it. My streamers loved it when I streamed it to them. I got a very good cast for it too. Everybody in the cast, there are some crossovers from Apollo coming over, some voice actors. And I also got a couple new people from a forum to do some voices. They're all very good. They're all very good. So, um, I greatly look forward to that. That episode should be out, actually, this Friday. The first episode, anyway, anyhow. Um, but yeah, anyways, um, I'm gonna tune out now and, uh, let you guys watch the credits, I suppose. Well, actually, I can't tune out. I'd have to stop the recording. But maybe I'll just stop talking. they will let you enjoy or something. I don't know. But look at that! We even get, like, a little parade thing. Good God. They're just like, yay, new champion. What I want to see, though, is a Pokemon game where you become the champion and people actually recognize you as so. Uh, because, you know, in the other games, you can just keep beating the Elite Four over and over again. It doesn't make a difference how many times you beat the champion. I, I always got put off by that. I don't know if I like that feature that much, and I bet they do that in this game, too, because they want you to keep training, obviously. And the Elite Four in every game has been the best training experience. Um... What would I rate this game out of 10? Let me think here. 10. <laughs> Just, they improved upon literally everything. And this is an unforgettable game. Especially, and I know they did a crap load of stuff with the end game too, which is why I'm kind of annoyed that I'm not gonna, I, I really don't feel like doing the end game. But I have a reason. Because I'm doing these voice acting things, I need to devote my, more of my time to it. So I need to finish these. I finished this in Scribblenaut, so I could, you know, and make them as good as I possibly can. Not have so many things going on at once. Jeez, how long are these credits? Lord. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and turbo through these. Hope you guys don't mind. Or can I even do that? Oh, we're done. Sweet. Ah, wow. Amazing. Definitely recommended. Now what? What are we doing here? Back to town, I suppose. Is that chick with her live bird here? Mom! Yay! She's like, oh, come home, my little champion. I'm like, yay! Now I can have a home-cooked meal for the first time in God knows how long. Yay! 
The end, but not quite, because X and Y are coming. Hmm. Let's save this crap, shall we? All right, well, that's the end of this LP, guys. Congratulations to Tyson for winning the challenge uh, by one, granted. They came down to the champion fight. That was all that I had hoped for there. And good job to Adam, too. If he hadn't blacked out so much on Roxy, he might have won, actually. Um, rate, comment, subscribe, favorite. And I'll see you guys in 999.